Our list of top five finishes ever at Daytona have included Richard Petty's 200th win, Dale Earnhardt's one and only 500 victory, the 1-2 finish by Bobby and Davey Allison, and also the 79-500 that ended with the Allison Yarborough fist fight. But that brings us to our number one greatest finish ever at Daytona, and without question, that has to be the 1976 Daytona 500. And the action really got hot right here in the banking in turn four. This was another classic David Pearson, Richard Petty duel that produced one of the most incredible finishes in NASCAR history. The battle had been brewing for about a hundred laps. On the final lap though, Pearson had passed Petty for the lead, but as they came to the final turn, Petty went low to retake the lead. But there is contact. Oh! It's an they did hit. Both drivers wind up spinning, hitting the outside wall spinning further out of control and into the trioval grass. Will he come across the start finish line? David Pearson's car comes to rest back near the entrance to Pitt Road. Richard Petty's damaged race car almost makes it to the finish line, but he comes to rest in the grass about 300 feet shy of the finish line. Everyone else was at least a lap down, so it was still Petty or Pearson's race to win, if they could get to the finish line. Petty was closest to the line, but his wrecked car had the radiator pushed in and he could not get the car restarted. Pearson had dumped the clutch on the car to keep his engine from stalling. Here comes Pearson! Pearson straightened out his damaged machine and Petty could only watch as David Pearson slowly crept past, crossing the finish line for the only Daytona 500 victory of his career. I think more people remember that race than all the races I won here. An amazing finish indeed, the 1976 Daytona 500 earning our vote as the number one best ever finish here at the Big D. You know, over the past 30 Daytona 500s, I've had the privilege to witness a lot of growth here at the Speedway, as well as in the sport of NASCAR itself. It's exciting just to stop and think and to wonder what just might be the next most memorable moment here at Daytona. I'm Buddy Pittman.